Live from the studios at the Bakersfield, California, and this is B Varsity Live with your host, Zach, get me an ibuprofen Ewing, and Trevor the Stone Horn. Well, hello everybody. I'm Zach Ewing, and this is B Varsity Live for Thursday, February the 12th, Valentine's Day edition with my yeah. Valentine, Trevor Horn. Oh. Not really. You didn't hear Chris because you don't have the IFBN because of your migraine, but he called you Zach, ibuprofen Ewing, and called me Trevor the Stone Horn. It's okay. We're, we're journalists. We're tough. Yeah. We're going to get through this. It's okay. Plus, we're excited to have on our guest for uh, today. We have the, the Southwest Yosemite League champions in soccer for both the boys' side and the girls' side. We're going to start with the boys. This is the Bakersfield High Drillers who have uh, clinched the league title. They're 8-1. and one. You know, you, you guys were 8-0 and, oh and you lost the game and then we invited you on the show, so I guess you should lose more often, Archie. <laughs> yeah, get some notoriety that way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is Coach Archie Parks down at the bottom with all the hair, uh, Colby Evans and Marco Calderon. Uh, congratulations on the season again, guys. Two, this is two straight or three straight now? Three straight. Three, three straight three. league championships. Same thing with the Frontier Girls team, which will be in, in our next segment. So uh, we, we all know how good the SWIL is pretty much across the board in any sport. To win that sucker three straight times says a lot, and it says a lot about you guys who you know were playing as sophomores on those first teams in Archie, the program you've built. What what does it take? I mean, I know it, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of a lot of skill, and maybe a little bit of luck to win that thing three years in a row too. Uh, definitely, um, I have a mix of guys that they're not all club players. A lot of them play, uh, you know, some even play AYSO select. Some of them play Mexican league. Some of them just play. You know, in the park, and I have that mix with those guys that do play club, and they just uh, they're just hard workers, and I think they realize uh, now when you come into the program at BHS, there's really no time off. You're you're ours for three and a half to four months. You you don't have Saturdays off. You don't have holidays off. Um, I gave them a day off last uh, Friday, and they nearly passed out. You're getting they soft. They thought hey, they thought I was joking. They said, "No, come on, really." I said, "No." And that was off. the day after you clinched the league title, and then you lost. So that, that, yeah. you guys aren't getting any more days. Wasn't off, very smart, was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Archie, why don't you introduce these players for us? Tell us, uh, tell us what makes these guys special. Right, this is uh, Kobe Evans. Um, he is actually a four-year starter for me. He uh, he was a freshman. I started him, um, and he's been a starter since then. He's been moved around to different positions, but uh, he is my go-to guy. There's no doubt about that. Uh, great player, quickness, uh, tenacity. Uh, and tough as nails. He's just uh, he's a player that uh, every coach knows about, and they try to mark him up, but uh, he has a lot to say about that. And the best hair in town. It is. It is kind of pretty, huh? Kind of Breck Shea. I don't that's know. Just, that's jealousy speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I used uh, to have that kind of hair. Yeah. <laughs> Which, Archie, you brought some goodies. We'll get to those in a minute, too. Uh, Colby, you started as a freshman. Now you're a senior. You've, you've been through the program, been through the ups and downs, mostly ups you guys have had. Uh, what's different about playing as a senior, wrapping things up, tonight with your regular season and then, and then you have playoffs obviously to come versus when you were as a freshman kind of wide-eyed well um everybody comes to me now because I'm the senior I'm the captain and I'm the one that has to organize everything when I was a freshman I could look up to people because they're older than me and I, like I could depend on them more but now I'm the guy to go to depend on and that's really important you win that league title as a sophomore you win it again last year how much pressure did you feel I, I can't go out being the class that that stops that streak it's very important i'm glad that we clinched it like it it's it was really tough and everything even though like our record we beat everybody everybody all the teams in the league are really close like the scores are really, really close and i'm happy <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And Archie, who, who's this young man here? Marco Calderon. He's a, a second-year starter at the keeper position. Uh, Marco had a great year for us last year, though. We had a lot less shots on him last year. We had a team that uh, was very stingy in the back. This year we're not quite as stingy, but uh, Marco's come out huge this year. Um, came back in great shape this year and just dominates. Um, if you ask nearly every coach in our league, they're going to tell you he's our keeper for the uh, – hopefully the shoe-in for our league – um, keeper of the year, um, hopefully area. He's just he plays huge. Um, st uh, stature is not the biggest guy in the whole field, but I tell you what, you know he's there, and he'll uh, he'll make sure you you see him there. You see if if I had any forethought, this is the part of the show where I would have like whipped a tennis ball out from under the table to and test the <laughs> uh, Marco, uh, how how about you? Coach said obviously more shots faced this year. Yeah. What's been different your senior year for you? Oh well, last year uh, we were really solid in the back. Really, really solid. And this year, we've been pretty good as well. But it's just a lot more shots this year. 
other teams have found, I mean, spaces between us. And, I mean, it's, it's just really different. You know, it's... Do you find yourself directing traffic more, telling uh, the guys where to be and, and, and that yeah, sort of thing? Yeah, in a way, yeah. Uh, this year, I've had to step up and scream more at them. As in, well, uh, whereas last year, uh, our center defender would do all that. And I was just, you know, in the back. So it's obviously different. What does it say about this year's team that despite that, you guys were able to just march it, right it along? It shows that uh, we were really, really hard workers. We have a great determination. And, I mean, we just, we just get what we want sometimes. Speaking of getting what he wants, uh, Archie brought this in. I, I got to show these off here. This is 1984, 85. Archie, you were at Garces. I was a senior there, uh, and this is an all, a, a, a Bakersfield All Star team, and I believe that's you, number five. Yeah, the right handsome here. guy right there, and and with a full head of hair, I might add. I think I look exactly the same. Yeah, I can tell. It's all in the eyebrows. Yes, yes, exactly. You. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then this is a few years later. You were coaching at East High. And we have this one too. I think it was my second or third year coaching. I think this is my, this is eighty nine or ninety ninety one. You have the very early nineties blue and red windbreaker right, on right. there, and the groovy short shorts. Yeah, Come on. absolutely. Come on, that's, Zach. We can't see it. That's oh, I'm sorry. That's very early nineties. <laughs> it's, it's curling on me. That's <laughs> no, how old come this on, is. keep pulling it out. There, there we go. You go, there we go. I still hang out with some of those guys right there. I uh, coached some of those kids. Kids, how's that? How's that? And that's so you've, that? Been, you've been at this for a long time. I, I was born in 1984, by the way. <laughs> hey, just have you know, these guys were born <laughs> you know, right around, uh, what, well, after 1990. Yeah. yeah. 90, 97, 97, yeah. yeah. Shoot. The year I graduated from I, I think we're all getting old <laughs> is, is what's happening. Uh, it's been a long journey for you. You mentioned you were just mentioning to me out in the hallway the, the first time year you coached high school was the Shafter girls team. It was a horrible experience. You guys didn't even score a goal the entire season. Correct. Why'd I, you stick with it? I, I had a desire. I that was pretty daunting task, though. I I could not believe I coached a year without a goal scored, and it was horrible feeling. I felt terrible. My practices seriously consisted of me dribbling and them trying to take the ball away from me because I knew they weren't going to pass the ball. <laughs> so it was our practice. That's what it was. This is this is a great story too. You, the one time that you almost scored that season, Shafter was down at Arvin, which was an equally poor team that yes. year. And, and what happened? Uh, they celebrated like it was the World Cup championship, and lo and behold, they did not score. <laughs> and they run over Talking to my about sideline. Your girls. Yeah, yeah, our girls. They ran over to the sideline, though, excited as heck, ran over and trying to hug me, and I kept yelling at them, get back on the field, get back on the field. Uh, the Subsequently, the keeper for Arvin kicks it down the field. They collect the ball, score. We lost 1-0. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I mean, that's one that sticks with you there. Oh, yeah. Have, how have you developed a strategy since then? I mean, obviously, you've had a lot more success. Uh, obviously, you're working with better talent sure. also. But, but um, what is your – I mean, you're energetic out there. You're fiery. What, what is your MO? I, I agree with um, – I am fiery. I, I don't I, – I, I, we don't – some coaches have – myself and I, my, my, coach, my sister coach and I, we don't have a bad – cop good cop relation i think we're both bad cops i don't know there's not much love going along with us i i don't give that many compliments i'm sorry i think that's for your parents um i'm not the huggy feely kind of guy when it comes to that i i think i think uh the guys expect it though and i think they'll live up to the challenge what we expect from them and um in the last you know last four years especially this team has done extremely well um we were talking about stats earlier this team has only had the one that Kobe's been on for four years has only had 15 losses altogether. So, you know, out of a 22 game season, usually right. um, that's not a bad outcome. It means 15 times he's chewed you out, right? Cole? Oh yeah. It yeah. wasn't nice. I'm sure you were kind of laughing when he said it's two bad cops. What's it like? It's like, okay. E even if we win a game, he's still <laughs> yeah. going to chew us out over everything. No, I'm so sorry. Like, so it's 88 chew outs. Though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my wife appreciates it though, so I don't have to go home and chew her out. There you go, you get it all out. <laughs> what what is what is uh d does does uh, does Archie have a go to phrase? Is it you know something that you guys hear over and over again? You roll your eyes when he says it. Um, like a G rated, G rated. <laughs> <laughs> if we or if we win a game and he doesn't like the outcome, even though we won, he's just like, I couldn't sleep last night. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like every like well, yesterday he he told after practice, I'm telling the guys, I'm like, watch Archie's gonna be like this. I couldn't sleep last night. I felt sick. <laughs> I I the first thing sure, yeah, sure I practiced, enough. that's what he said. He, yeah. I couldn't sleep last night. I keep Zantac in service. Yeah, that the company Zantac. Yeah. I should be the spokesperson. It's almost like you guys know him or something yeah. after, <laughs> after several years. Uh, how about as a goalkeeper? I mean, how much are you working on, on your own in practice, and how much is it is it combined with the rest of the team? 
Well, uh, at practice, they have uh, several drills where they shoot on me, and that's that's really great practice for me. And sometimes I just tell Archie, I'm like, Archie, I'm tired. And he's like, nope, it's great practice for you. Keep going. It's like, all right. So, I mean, Archie has a lot to do with it, uh, with the things that he does. But, uh well, yeah. we got to give a shout out to uh, my assistant coach Malcolm Minner. It's not even assistant coach; we're yeah. co-coaches. He is the goalkeeper coach, and he, I, every every accolade that Marcus is going to get or has received, I I give it to uh, Malcolm Minner. He's just he's very knowledgeable in it. Just a great goalkeeper coach. I'm going to let Marco yeah. keep those accolades, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, Marco, during practice, who's the who's the hardest guy to go against then in practice? Uh, shot wise, yeah. I'd say uh, this guy right here, and don't don't say that just because he's sitting next to <laughs> you. No, he's, I, I mean, can it, tell it, in his eyes, man. Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah. I understand that he, he didn't can even kick look you it. under the table right now. <laughs> but you know, go ahead and be truthful. It's okay. Oh well, yeah, Kobe and Coleman. They yeah. have their shots that you know they they knuckle a little. They bit. knuckle yeah. a lot. Did, yeah. now, have you guys? Had, now I I realize now this movie was made before they were born, which is scary to me. But did you have a Mighty Ducks uh, Go- Goldberg the goalie moment where you had to kind of tie him to the? <laughs> <laughs> just let him get. Did you have a moment like that where you're? I mean, I mean, how does one become a goalkeeper? I know that's the position everybody sort of wants to play. Yeah. But when did you know? Hey, I'm actually good at this. Uh, I don't know. I I grew up in it. I think uh, I started off at in the midfield, but I I just didn't like it. And I started moving back, and I just found myself there, and mm-hmm. I liked it. Marcus could play on the field for his teams, but he's much more valuable in the goal for us. Okay, let's talk seed. Yep. You guys are eight and one in the league. Uh, you play Centennial again tonight. That was a t- tough game the first time around. I think they had you one nothing, and you came back and beat them 2-1. Yeah, right. uh, so, if, so let's say you win tonight. 9-1 nine, nine, is senior night and everything. Yeah. You guys better win on senior night. Yeah, I'd right? like to. Uh, y- you, wait, have you been the 2 seed two years in a row now? Or was it? I know, it, the quarterfinals has been that bad round for yeah. you. You've lost a couple of heartbreakers in the quarterfinals. Mm-hmm. Two years ago, was at the two seed last year. Maybe you were the four were we, seed. We're not, what were if, no, you were at home. I know were that. We one seed. We didn't, we didn't have a bye no. last year. Our sophomore year. We no, were, we had a bye. We, oh, we had a bye last yeah. year. No, last year we didn't. So yeah, because we beat we, the team yeah, like 10, 10 to one. Do I need to look it up? Yeah, yeah I think I think that's right. And then you lost to Bullard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same round every year. Okay, well here's the question then. It looks as if it's between you and Bullard for second seed. For probably. second seed, where's your argument? And I understand that it would have been less of an argument had the loss not happened on Tuesday night. Correct. But where is? How do you make your statement over Bullard for that two? You know, seed? I still need to check all that stats up there. I I don't know if they had who in common that we had with them. Um, the only Fresno team we actually played this year was Clovis West, mm-hmm. and. Um, we beat them three to two in the Garces tournament, and I don't know if uh, Bullard played them this year. They're not they're not part of the track, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if, yeah, uh, that's a, that's an interesting question. It's and it's always interesting. I guess my question is: you've lost as a higher seed a couple years in a row, and heartbreaking. Right. I mean, games that could have gone either way, and they just didn't go your way. Does seed matter to you? I mean, do you do you, do you care? So, I'm thinking about that also. Maybe Griffith Stadium isn't the best uh, <laughs> place for us to to go through. I don't know. It's it has been a thrown in our side though a couple times. Definitely. It, has seen. that been talked about as hey, this is still just regular season, guys? I mean, you because of the playoff heartbreaks you've had, let's you know let's wait and see what happens in playoffs. Or what's what's what part of the discussion does that play? Um, well, like. We've lost in the same round every year, and people always say, like, oh, is this going to happen this year? The same thing. And, like, every year I've been on the team, it's, like, heartbreaking. Every year it's been the same. So this year I'm trying to – it's going to be different. Like, I want it to be different. And, uh, honestly, the seed doesn't really matter to me. We're going to play a team. Like, even if we don't have a bye, I don't care. We're going to play a team. If we beat them, we're going to go on. So that's what I'm just looking forward to. We. Just pick that team. We got to play our game, and then we'll be good. I um, one note about that. Besides last year's game, uh, we lost to Bullard. They were runners up in the Valley last year. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> honest to God, every team that we've lost to ended up winning Valley at the last three years before that. Yeah. So we lose to the best team, <laughs> but that's, that's not a that's no consolation. Right, sorry. Right. You want you want to get there yourself <laughs> for correct. sure. Uh, well, guys, we appreciate you coming in, and uh, you know, good luck tonight. And then, obviously, next week when the playoffs begin, that's when that's when everybody's eyes will really be shining down. And it could be—I know the the construction has hit some snafus or whatever. It could be the last time you play on Griffith Field for quite some time. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, for these guys, well, for it will be anyway. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's it's a special moment, and that's a special place, and and we all know that. So, and not just for football, for you guys as well. So good luck, Marco Calderon, uh, Colby Evans, and Archie Parks, coach of BHS Soccer. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And congrats on the league title. We'll be right back with the uh, girls SWYL soccer champions, the Frontier Titans, right after this on B Varsity Live. Welcome everyone, Nissan of Bakersfield.